I have a mana pot on both of my heroes. Um, I don't ever use the uh, Wands of Illusion. Don't ask me why. I don't even know. Um, but at this point, I believe I'm going to try and set up an expo, and I'm just going to push. And the reason I'm able to set up an expo is because he actually wasted two TPs. Um, yeah. So this works out well for me with the mana pots and the expo because he's only going to have, uh, let's see, five food more than I do. And with Chain Wave and the fact that he's going rifles, um, that five food really works in favor of me. <laughs> uh, just because I can actually damage, let's see, his entire army except for that one breaker. And it just works out well, out well for me. So at this point, you'll notice I do have map control. And you'll watch this. He's militiaed. And I'm still going to fight this battle. You know why? Because I pretty much have already won. Um, I lose that spirit walker. That's a bummer. You don't want to lose spirit walkers. Um, more chain wave. I mean, look at how devastating that is to his entire army. And the reason that the mana pots work in favor of me, especially when fighting at his base, is because he basically can't do anything uh, with militia, because they'll all get raped. Really bad shockwave. I could have taken out two more rifles with that. Um, so at this point, I TP out, because I've killed pretty much everything of his. And... Oh, I did an expo. That's weird. And, well, I have a lot of gold, and I figured I pretty much killed a bunch of his militia. I mean, if you take Fog of War off and you look at all the corpses, uh, that's mostly militia. So, he's out a whole bunch of wood. Of course, he does have a shredder, but I get the EXP. Kill a burrow that's in the way. That's good. <laughs> that's, that's good for putting in an audio. Um, anyways, so, in this case, uh, controlling the map, especially on Tyrannus Stand, is more controlling key locations. Um, it's, well, it's less so controlling key locations in this case, because it's only a couple gold mines in the Merc camps. Uh, on things like Twisted Meadows, it's very much controlling the key locations on that map. Like, if you control both shops or the Merc camps, depending on what your plan is, um, it works out really well. And in terms of races, um... What you control is actually different for each race. As Undead, what you want to control is you just want to make sure that he's not camping the, um, what are those called? The shops. And you want to control the gold mines a little bit more than anything else on the map. And the reason that is, is because you can already get healing scrolls at your own shop. Uh, so it kind of works out that way. And for those of you who didn't know, well, now you know. That's that's why Undead is pretty good in twos, uh, especially on the map Avalanche, just because they have healing scrolls at their own shop. But that's not the point. Anyways, um, yeah, if you're Elf, you'll want to be able to control the shops, and you'll definitely probably want the Merc Camps. Uh, here I just wasn't paying attention, so I didn't really get that in Snare on the Breaker, which is too bad, um, but I get a Sorcerer's Kill. And this game pretty much ends. This is how you beat Rifle Caster, by the way. It's very easy to do. Uh, I haven't really had any problems with it. Uh, Breaker Caster is a little difficult because my game plan slash playstyle doesn't really work as well. Uh, I believe I lose that grunt, which is a bummer, but whatever. You'll notice I don't summon as many wolves. If you had more breakers, I would summon more wolves. Um, I just spend my mana on the chain wave that's what it was so more chain wave action yeah I get a couple of kills with that this game's pretty much over so you'll notice I really made sure he didn't expo that whole game I mean if he did expo I would have known about it um, because I even scouted his expos before that battle because that was really the only way he could actually win um, so yeah on this map versus human, you really want to control the gold mines because if you don't, uh, you're just going to put yourself in big trouble. And it's not very good. <coughs> and what else, what else, what else do I want to talk about? Uh, let's see. Um, creating opportunities for winning. Um, I didn't really talk about that much, but 
basically in this case what I did was um, I made him TP a couple times which was really the only way that I won and also the fact that I was going to pick off a couple <laughs> peasants and militia and stuff with chain wave that's really the way that I created an opportunity to win uh, in the last game it was definitely um, those couple hero kills that I snagged um, <coughs> but really creating opportunities to win can be things like Hidden expansions, invite item creeping with your blade master, uh, which I don't tend to use very often because I'm not a huge fan of the blade master. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, there's imba creeping, which is basically like AOWs and creeping with one archer, which gives you a lot more money for tier two. Um, although it does put you a little bit of a risk, but pretty much everything to create an opportunity to win has some sort of risk involved. Um, that was bad wolf micro, I shouldn't have lost that. They give a lot of EXP at level 3. But, <coughs> whatever. Um, yeah, generally you put yourself a little bit of a risk uh, when you're trying to create an advantage, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to create an advantage, and it would just be imbalance, which is what Blizzard's trying to avoid. With the new patch, lol. So, <laughs> yeah, that was, a, that was a joke. So... Yeah, uh, I believe I will do another game. I forget which replay I'm going to do. Um, either way, my next audio is actually going to be... Um, it's going to be on beating Mass Tower because it's... I find it's very easy to do, but a lot of people complain about it. Um, yeah, I've really not had any problems with it at all. Um, yeah, even... Like, as Elf versus Batmaster, I don't lose anymore. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm a lot more patient than other people. But mm, it also could be because of playstyle. So I don't give this guy my AKA burn. But, yeah, that's my AKA. Hi, I'm Orange from WC Replays. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that game was a little brave. But... Um, You'll notice that I did get an advantage, not because of the fact that I'm a little better than he is, but because of the fact that I know what I'm doing. So, uh, hopefully this is the replay I was going for. Okay, it is. So, this game is going to be Orc Mirror. This is actually my new strategy in Orc Mirror. And you may think it's absolutely ridiculous, but it works. <laughs> Um, it's just a little more difficult to get working because of the early game, and I will mention that. <laughs> 